can make an extra cut right down the middle. So at this stage, um, fair amount of sort of finicky uh, work, concentrating on getting these joints fitted exactly. So I had them just sort of rough fit earlier. Uh, now I'm gonna pay a lot more attention to, uh, with a chisel, cleaning out the inside corners of these notches I originally kit, uh, cut on the bandsaw, uh, making sure there's no burrs or edges on the insides of these rabbits, uh, using the router plane uh, on all these surfaces to make sure that I've got these uh, grooves down to the depth where they will seat in such that the walls are completely flush. And then finally, uh, either back onto the router table or hopefully you're super close and just with a little more tune up with a sandpaper, uh, refining the shapes of these curves such that these will come in and fit uh, just dead nuts not only in so they're they're snug and it's going to form a nice strong joint but so that you get a really good close fit in and around here so that it's not only going to be mechanically strong but very very uh good looking joint aesthetically before and then after once we start doing some of the power carving so i'm going to do that on all of the front and the rear legs and then the, i'm going to set the legs aside at that point and then i'm going to start shaping uh power carving on the seat so